number one, holding the attention of all the speed keepers out there. For our Rubrics Challenge, there will be two sets. Number one, Rubrics Challenge for the Junior High School category. And then the other one will be the Rubrics Cube Challenge for the Senior High School category. For those who are willing to participate in this challenge, I would like you to take note of the following reminders. Number one, that this challenge is open to all secondary public schools within the division. Number two, that each school is to send only one representative from any grade level to participate in the contest. So that could be a cuber from grade 7, somebody who is, who is good in Rubik's Cube at grade 8, or a cuber from grade 9 or, or from grade 10. And then the other one could, could possibly be a grade 11 or a grade 12 to compete in the senior high school category. Number two, a common Rubik's Cube will be used in the challenge and that should be provided by the participant. For this challenge, it has to be a 4x4x4 four by four by four Master Cube. The Rubik's Cube challenge has three rounds. There would be easy, average, and difficult round. Take note of the following mechanics of the game. Number one, a goal is to complete the cube within the given time. So the given time allotments are the following. For the secondary high school category, for the easy round, they will be allotted one minute to complete the cube. For the average round, they will be allotted 45 seconds. For the difficult round, there will be 30 seconds. Now in the senior high school category, for the easy round, they will be given one minute to complete the cube. For the average round, they will be having 40 seconds. And for the difficult round, they will be giving they will be given 25 seconds to complete the cube. <coughs> Next one. Participant or participants should pass the three rounds. And of course, the fastest will be declared the winner. Those who can complete the cube within the given allotted time can proceed to the next round. Otherwise, they will be eliminated and will not be given another chance to continue. If in the case some participants or all participants successfully finished and complete the cubes for the three rounds, the time they consumed in completing the rubrics will now be average and they will be ranked in accordance with the result of their average speed. The one with the shortest average speed wins. The platform that we plan to, to use in this challenge is the Google Meet, whose link will be sent to the different school respective coordinators. We tried to modify and simplify the mechanics because of the current situation that we are in. So for this, I'd like to say good luck to all the challengers and God bless everyone. for the Tessellations Making Contest. One part illustration board, ruler and protractor, scissors, cardboard, pencil, pencil pen and markers, pastel or crayons, plastic cover, and sketch tape. For the criteria, we have 30% creativity, 35% variation of shape, 35% image projection for the total of 100%. And here are the mechanics. First, Think of any objects that have tessellating patterns, and then draw and cut each of these patterns. Trace these patterns on the entire one-part illustration board, and color patterns and give the emphasis on the objects of your choice. Write a brief description on a short band paper of the object manifested in your creation at the back of the illustration board. For the submission of entries and inquiries, contact Mrs. Fabeline Balatan. Welcome to Math TikTok Challenge. 
So here are the following mechanics. This competition is open for the following. Individuals for grade 7 to 9. Groups for grades 10 to 11. Each presentation should be allotted from 30 to 60 seconds. Otherwise, it will be disqualified from the competition. Props are not needed in this presentation. Any lesson or concept learned in mathematics can be applied in preparing a TikTok number. Multiple TikTok effects and sounds can be used in the presentation as long as creativity is shown. Offensive movements are strictly prohibited in the presentation. Otherwise, this qualification will be given. Here are the following criteria for judging. Mathematical level team will be 45% while the creativity will be 30% while the social media votes based on the heart reaction will be 25% and the total will be 100%. So for the submission of entries, you may send your entry to this email address ryanj.verbo at depend.gov.ph So the deadline of entries will be January 15, 2021.